So this week I'm back with episode 2 of the follow up to speaking to some of the guild leaders and officers within the Ashley community. Now these questions are definitely going a bit more on the controversial side, it's more to do with intrepid, it's more to do with corruption, politics, spying and drama. It's not because I want to make loads of drama for clicks, it's genuinely part of the game, it's part of the community and there's certain things I don't believe the community is talking about and to me I believe they're just as important as the systems, if not more important than the systems and could inevitably lead to the downfall of Ashes of Creation as well as it has to multiple other MMOs or at least tarnished its reputation to a degree that does affect the longevity and player base. So my aim is to get that out there to make sure we don't head down that path to get the honest opinions of other guilds whether they agree or disagree with me, perspective on what people think so Intrepid could maybe see this or people can have a, a bigger picture and, and have a heads up and are not going blind but without rambling on anymore let's just jump right into the video i mean yeah dungeon camp is gonna happen in a game like this right because it's one of those games where the big new dungeon shows up because the node leveled up uh, and there's gonna be people that want to camp it which is where the mercenary stuff comes in in terms of like people like spying and stuff and guilds breaking up like i'm not worried about my guild breaking up in spies i mean all the guilds i've ever met and guild ma guild leaders i've talked to like they have stuff in place in their discords to avoid the spies as best they can like having protected channels and hidden channels i think if you fall victim to stuff maybe just don't get up don't break your guild down just ask for advice from other guild leaders how to set up stuff yeah i, I, I don't see the, the drama if, if you get affected by drama you're doing things wrong and you're too personally involved um care about your guild but I, I don't make it your whole life well i mean we operate uh under the pretense that we always have spies and that it takes more energy to get rid of spies than it does to suss them out so we we don't care if we have spies like we pretty much put everything out in public anyways i always tell my guys that like you know we have our ashes private chats i tell them there's no such thing as a private chat the only time you have to say anything in private is when you dm me you know so like when we're doing dungeons and stuff we're just always going to be prepped for people are going to expect us to be there so it's to the point where i tell my streamers like i don't care if you stream exactly what we're doing i don't care if you have the comms on you know do whatever the hell you want to do because uh if we get stream sniped then that's fun content for me i literally do not care at all i just think that makes it more fun gives me more stuff to do just like everybody else play us spies in eph i have spies everywhere else i mean it's just what you do in games like this it shouldn't be expected if anybody's like blindsided by something like that at this point in a, a pvp amount and like hey, you gotta kind of get your stuff together uh, but i mean when it comes to like drama and everything i think the uh the battle lines between guilds have probably already been drawn i think we're pretty unique in ethereum when it comes to drama where i don't think we hardly have any in guild drama ever we're on that that nice dictator system where if i don't like you you just get kicked and then that keeps drama from happening <laughs> so that just we get rid of anything that's negative pretty fast dungeon camping inciting the only thing i'm really worried about is whatever power they might give to like a regular member in the game I know in like Throne and Liberty, for example, there's gates inside the sieges that you can just open for people that you have to be careful of. So that's a, it's a little scary if somebody sneaks into your guild and does stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be any worse than any other game. It should just be pretty standard for everybody at this point. So I think it's one of those things that's really inevitable in MMOs when you've got so many people playing together. I mean, it was there in the days of, you know, Age of Conan. It was there in Classic WoW. It was certainly there in Arcade with kind of people blocking bridges with tractors and then asking you for kind of a troll toll to uh, get past. I think, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, guilds will break up, there will be disputes, they'll be kind of slagging each other off in chat. I think it's all just, you know, part of the fun in all honesty. You know, it's kind of like in EVE where you hear stories of people working their way into kind of corpse and then building up their position over three or four years only to betray the corporation, steal everything. But yeah, it's going to be there. I think it's going to be, you know, even bigger than ever in Ashes of Creation due to the player freedom and also due to the player agency but you know i'm excited for it and for me it's a case of just really bring it on so how do i see politics played out as i say seven years running a hardcore guild we were one of the only guilds in that time that never got incited and that was because our group was solid we had picked the right people we had quality controlled and i don't honestly think this will affect us too much will we have spies of course we will will we have other alliances who have come forward on naps or people trying to be friendly try and turn on us or play these games of 
course we will, and we're prepared for that, and you've just got to be ready, and you know, you've got to think about your guild first. Always your guild, always your community, and make sure that's what you're focusing on. Don't put your energy into some other community that isn't giving it back to you, because they will just sift and drain you of everything you've got, and that is my honest advice. Now, it does seem pessimistic. That is just how these games go, because it's so competitive, everyone wants the edge. Will there be dungeon camping for resources and ganking and killing? Of course there will, and also our guild will be taking part in that. That is just part of the game. Will you be smashing ships at sea? Of course you will. It's just part of the fun of the game and it isn't for everyone. Hence why when we go back to the first video about the FF guys and coming over and finding out we're just the will. But if you put time into the right people and I say the right people and you want to make sure they are, you will get a lot back out of them and I've seen many PvE guys come over from the Ark Guild that were really good farmers and breeders but were terrible at politics and, and war become some of the best people at politics and war. So you know, do not give up on the PvE is work with them, adjust them and give them a bit of leeway. As for the spying and inciting part, well we already see big guilds falling apart, disbanding already due to drama. We see some of the smaller ones that have broke apart and different leaders have fell out and, and this has happened on a large scale because you know we're watching everything and monitoring. These people just keep falling apart um, and whether that's because they're more casual, whether they don't have the structure in place or disagreements, you want to try and avoid that at all costs and that's why slowly growing and condensing and cutting out and then quality control and then growing again condensing cutting out the people that aren't fitting that is the way we will be doing it and i think it's the best way we will cap at 100 like i've said before we do not plan to be a zerg we plan to be a extremely i'd say small but more medium sized quality guild and uh, we've very active core players that you can trust so we are fully prepared but if you're not i would take the advice from this video get your guild or house in order really start working on communication make them understand these are parts of the game but do not quit the game when someone stabs you in the back or you think a guild's friendly and they've just been using you um know that these things will happen and then wait your turn just you know wait the time out and then strike them back get your revenge on them that's that's the best way don't let it disgruntle you yeah? just be fueled by that anger and disgust towards these guilds and, and just hammer them and when you find someone that's good and loyal be good and loyal to them do not stab them in the back loyalty matters and loyalty is key so while everyone's more focused on the drama spying inside and scummery um you really do want to make sure you keep that loyalty because people will want more guilds and eventually this drama will burn them out and tie them out and you want to be the guys that people said you know what say nephilim or whoever else they were the law ones they're the sound ones they stick to the word they get shit done but they're not pussies and, and i think that's the best way you can approach situation a bit long-winded there's much more i could go into and it's why i'm going to do long form videos from my past experience with you know running a hardcore guild and i think a lot of the other guys in the video currently make really valid points i mean i think that there will always be favoritism from mods and gms and stuff right because it's like any person in the world if you have someone who you know or you have friends with you're gonna you're gonna do favoritism and i don't think it's gonna be on a, a huge scale when the game comes out i think it's gonna be on that sort of uh harmless sort of like oh i answered their ticket faster like yeah I, d I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think they will keep on top of it, like, as best they can, but it, I don't see them having any real effect on the actual community. Um, other than maybe socially, like, I think people will be pissed off, like, for for a week or something about it, but then they just have to learn to get over that. Like, unless it really affects your guild in some way, like, if someone does something and it's super effect, but then I think the community will rally around any sort of wrongdoing and get that sort of fixed because i mean communities have like way more effect on games nowadays than they used to so yeah i couldn't give less of a shit if a gm gives their friend a key i think it's do you know what if, if steven wanted to give a guild a set of keys i'd hope he'd be straight up with it be like i'm gonna give this guild a set of keys i'm i have ties to them uh we're gonna do some really cool uh ashes promotion stuff and that's why i'm doing it and if i think if he's upfront about it and tells us why he's doing it great if it's just him being like i'm giving these guys keys because they're my friends there's nothing we can do about it but we can't complain um i mean with all credit to steven even really you know i think it was a case of he was a gamer who then became you know ceo of a company and a game developer so you know i think probably in the early days you know there were probably a few slip ups you know not that i've got any kind of evidence to back that up but you know we all make mistakes um i think as development time goes on really i think those mistakes will be less and less i know you know steven has cut ties with his 
former guild and you know i suspect particularly in eu that there won't really be any favoritism because you know the majority of the ashes developers that we know currently will be on na and they will be interacting with the kind of na community i think we will have a brand new kind of management and moderation team so i don't think it's really going to be much of an issue personally yeah i'm more than comfortable with literally anything i say to this answer being put in the video but yeah i mean we've seen them do favoritism already many times especially like two i think we came into ashes like two years ago first thing we heard from these other guilds was how uh steven and them are gonna you know, favorite envious because they've you know been i guess playing for a while and chatting pretty close with them for a while i know da has kind of built his guild around their connections with uh the ashes devs and he's trying to kind of build up and crutch all of their shortcomings with you know a connection like that so i know they've already gotten all those keys um, from the Ashes devs for these, you know, preset play tests to kind of get in and get information early. We always got told to expect them to be shown favorites. Um, I'm well expecting, you know, come all these testing phases, come release, you know, if we're shit talking them, um, I, I've already told my guys this, like, as soon as we say something, they're going to talk to their little dev friend, and, you know, try to target ban us every time we do pretty much anything. Uh, we've seen it in other games. They try to cover up their lack of skill with their connections with devs and especially off of those keys that they gave out we're fully expecting uh steven and the rest of the developers to give envious full-blown favoritism you know we saw the keys we're expecting to get early information on patches we're expecting them to get you know a quick pipeline to developers we're expecting them to get favoritism and you know maybe even private testing beforehand on certain releases you know maybe a couple like a year into testing if there's a new piece of content they're coming out we're expecting them to give them their own private server or expecting them to show them some sort of favorite them to where they can put like a hundred of their dudes where maybe other guilds maybe only get five ashes does have made it very clear they don't care about showing favoritism they might be how they might even be going the full arc route and spawning in gear for them with like uh was it the conquest devs for t i believe i would not be surprised to see them doing that um in ashes at all and my guys are all prepped for it we're mentally prepared for them to show favoritism and we're we're not going to be surprised by it at all um, that's what all the other guilds that I've talked to have kind of felt about it. They might be a little bit shy to say it because uh, they don't want to make enemies or whatever, but we're all mentally prepared for them to show some crazy amount of favoritism. So the favoritism is a weird one and I am an EU guild and I personally think on the EU side, there's maybe mild, don't even know if you could really class it as favoritism. You definitely see some of the mods there that were connected to one of the guilds that has disbanded. I think they might have been in the chance with some favoritism. People might not like what I'm saying there, but do you know, I come from a game which I will make a video about showing how these things started uh, and what it led to and that is my fear for ashes and i didn't speak out it is a big regret because inevitably it's led to the state where it's at now where hundreds of thousands have left the game it is it's horrible when a, a really brilliant game goes down because of shit like this and it does start with small things but on the eu side i don't think we've got it that bad but i will be monitoring that heavily but when it comes to the na side i i do and i have seen multiple different messages and things and i i definitely do feel there's some favorite going on in the NA side. I've seen some of the toxicity. I've seen some of the really messed up videos that are directly related to porn and other weird shit, which is toxicity and banter. But I did see some of the warnings dished out and I definitely thought it favoured one side more than the other. And to me, I didn't think that was right. I think Stephen's got to be careful giving out these keys or people he's connected to in the past. Should Stephen even be in any guild discords? No, I don't think he should. I think he should remove himself fully from guild discords. I, I do believe he should be there he shouldn't be in my discord even if i'm a content creator eventually he should not be in my discord i do not believe it's right because it just brings about the wrong impression and when it comes to the developers uh, the the moderators having a faster chain of command and meaning guilds that is a sketchy one and all we can do is watch it uh, i do believe steven does need to take a step back when it comes to these things and let other people be in charge and especially the community management team they should be the forefront of this and if they are in the community management team they definitely should not be in any guilds especially some of the moderators if they are moderating there should not be no favorites and they should have specific rules in place for moderators to kind of stop that bias alex does make a good point and they clearly have had some beef and this is going to get worse as the game develops and unfortunately there is going to be multiple content creators and multiple guild leaders out there trying to get on steven's best side now steven says he doesn't want white knighting but i can clearly see there's a lot of people white knighting for him and i do sometimes think he doesn't 
does fall for it because oh, he's only human at the end of the day. It's a weird one, I agree with having no suits in the game and I understand that's a good thing and it gives us more freedom but at the same time I think not having Hoverhead could turn bad because at the end of the day this is a heavily political competitive PvP game and if people are seen to be finding out information or patch notes or, or shit like that going on it's really bad and, and you know there's been prominent discords where we've supposedly seen one of the developers from Intrepid go in who had a lot of weird information and a lot of screenshots at the time uh, and was claiming to work directly for Intrepid now if things like that start happening that is a big fucking problem so I think as a community we need to monitor this and if you don't think this is a problem trust me when you're in game fighting these and it starts stemming out of control this is how it starts and this is when it gets much worse so yeah that, that's my opinion we need to walk a fine line and, and so does Intrepid for, for sure because if anything is going to kill this game it would be corruption or favouritism long term affecting in game mechanics or play so I definitely take this more serious than others and, and that's because I've seen how a game dies that's brilliant and I've seen how a community turns it back and it wasn't for the systems it was directly because of the developers and stuff like this and the moderation team I don't think it's going to be bad at all let's be honest hardcore guilds will get this information in days if you don't need to know a mob timer you just stand around for a bit like in any other MMO it's ever been um, we've all seen the devs play we've all seen Steven play the game they're all pretty shit at the game like they're not great you know you can know how to fix a car but can you actually fix the car at the end of the day yeah I'm, I've never been worried about them playing they play like they're casual to semi-hardcore so as long as my guys can take them I'm, I'm quite happy with that I mean personally I think it's something that really we should avoid because I think that conflict of interest is pretty great you know when it comes to the GMs although they may not you know have god powers they may not have you know the best items like you said they've still got that knowledge and that knowledge can be quite dangerous you know if it's particularly kind of limited knowledge I mean for example in Mortal Online very old MMO now there was a particular recipe in that game which was secret which was to create the best health potion in the game and one of the developers I believe let slip that recipe to a particular guild and of course they then coined that didn't share it with anybody else and they just pumped these health potions out and just dominated everybody so I think you know knowledge is power it's very dangerous so I think you should definitely keep you know developers and GMs away from players and not have them playing characters on the server um, but that being said I think you know if your community has good infrastructure if it has you know spreadsheets uh, databases and other systems such as a map for example to capture that information yourself as a guild I think you know your level of knowledge will eventually be comparable with that of a game manager or a developer I think it's a given anyways regardless of you know what they say to their developer team they just make alts anyways and just go play the game uh, we saw it in New World where developers just made alts and played the game but Amazon did a great job when it came to not giving anybody any favoritism or special treatment or letting their devs even do anything like we knew a lot of the devs coming into New World and not a single one of them said like anything but they did a really good job it really just comes down to you know, how much respect the developers have for Steven to not do crazy stuff like that and if they do they do if they don't they don't I don't, I don't really know if um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything they can really do about that uh, they can make it public like hey don't do this don't do that I guess it comes down to how hard they punish somebody for doing that if they even want to punish people but I, I feel like that's just a, a part of any MMO that developers are gonna want to play the game too <laughs> so they'll be on alts you know probably dropping information to their boys I feel like that's just how it, you know that's the way it goes so this is a simple one answer should the developers play the game on our official servers in guilds no they should not under any circumstances be playing the game on the official server with any guilds and is that gonna straight away get people's backs up and like are you fucking stupid like these guys want to play the game as well and I understand that and the game Steven's making if I was a dev making it trust me I'd want to fucking play the game too and it's highly likely I'd make an alt account and I would still go play the game and not tell Steven and this is what's going to happen but I do believe we've got to be very careful because these guys are going to have high end information early on they're going to understand the intricacies and private information and potential ways of exploiting and bugging so they could definitely utilise this now you could say this would never happen they would never do that just because Steven says his team solid and intrepid solid does not mean that is the situation hence going back to my previous statement about the guy who said the work for intrepid started posting pictures now obviously I will be screenshotting a lot more of these things that come across and I'll be monitoring it and compiling the fucking data going forward to actually fact check it because right now a lot of it is speculation and bullshittery which isn't good but I, I do not believe devs should be playing I believe Steven should set a server up for the devs and anyone who wants to play with the developers and have open 
open access to that in my honest opinion so the devs all play there they all have their own guilds and then maybe the player base could go over and play with them as well and it'd be monitored and anyone cheating or doing out like that is removed now will this happen i don't know do i know steven's plans no i did see him joke about playing in a guild and he might see him if steven was ever caught playing on official servers in a guild i think this would be an extremely bad thing and i've personal experiences as well with the devs or the owners of companies playing in guilds and um i think a lot of the times with how personal we've seen this game getting i don't necessarily think that's a good thing so yeah that's my foot down on that one people might not agree with it but devs playing on an official server from experience will ruin the game inevitably and it always leads to toxicity job losses or corruption definitely a bit more of a controversial video on mechan and a bit more of a negative vibe than my usual ones but i don't think you can just hide away and not talk about the negativities of a game or the potential negativities because if you bury your head in the sand these things will arise so that is the end of the video i am planning to do more of these let me know your thoughts on any of this in the comment section below i'm sure with the feedback intrepid will want to know about this personally i do actually want to know about this and i want to know how you guys feel whether you agree with me or disagree i don't care i'm not here to be a poster boy and have my ego stroked i want to know your opinion i want your opinion out there now if it's somewhat dumbass like ashes is a scam steven's a fucking pyramid scheme warlord just don't bother but if it's something that is actually to do with ashes and i know people say oh, that's an opinion it, it's not really opinion it's just mental but I, I really do want the bigger picture and i believe that's how the game will develop more so as always i really do appreciate you watching the video give it a like give it a share and drop a sub and i will catch you in the next one cheers